When I wrote A Grief Unveiled, One Father's Journey Through the Death of a Child, I wrote it as a, more of a series of meditations uh, to be a gift for my wife and our children. I had no idea of publishing it, and I had no idea the effect it would have when I published it. And the most gratifying thing that people have said to us consistently over 15 years is that it's the one book I read that made me realize I wasn't going crazy. To me, that's enormously humbling that out of our poverty, we could share the experience of losing our son in all its brute reality and realize that by so doing, it was able to reach some places where other parents who had lost children were. When I was invited to consider a new edition 15 years down the road of A Grief Unveiled, I was really struck with the, uh, the opportunity that the invitation provided to say, where are we 15 years later? And so the opportunity to think about how to process this and look back over 15 years and see not only our own human growth, not only our own human limitations and frailty, but also to see how the Lord had cared for us over these 15 years in bringing us to a place of real hope and healing and life. We were dealt a tragedy. There's no doubt about that. We've also been able to see the Lord move in our hearts and our lives, each and every one of us in the family in many, many different ways uh, in light of the tragedy. So it's with humble gratitude that we took up the invitation to pen a few more chapters to say what happened since, what the children have written. It's very real and I decided not to overly correct their theology because their theology is for where they're at as kids and I didn't want to edit their heartfelt thoughts. Um, but underneath all that, very moving to see that the life of faith and the life of hope is very much alive in them and that their relationship with their brother in heaven is something that's very real and deep and substantive in their lives. And for that, I'm just enormously grateful uh, to the Lord and to my wife, who's a wonderful mother to them.